Well, Pick Tennessee recently kicked off the growing season after a warm winter launched area strawberries into early growth. Their recent event featured current crop updates from the host farm family of White's Family Farm. And joining us for a recap is Demetria White of White's Family Farm. Thanks so much for joining us, Demetria. And tell us about your farm and all the different crops you produce. Well, our big big thing right now is all the vegetables. We've got a lot of things, a lot of greens are coming in right now and a lot of herbs and onions and those kind of things. We also are tobacco farmers, dark fired tobacco in Robertson County. Uh, we also have row crops as well, soybeans and, and corn and wow. And, uh, and wheat, but also raise some hogs too. Wow, that is <laughs> quite an operation you're running there. And you actually brought some of your fresh basil and some other fresh herbs, yeah. and they just smell <laughs> so wonderful. <laughs> now tell us about your affiliation with Pick Tennessee. Well, we've been with Pick Tennessee for a while and they've really been good to us. Uh, one of the big things that I, I recommend other farmers to maybe consider other, especially other produce farmers to, to work with Pick Tennessee. It's been really good, a good combination the way Pick Tennessee works with restaurants as well. And uh, it's, we've picked up some, some business because of that. So yes. it's been really beneficial. Mutually beneficial. It, it sounds like a great program. So other it restaurants is. in the area are now using some of your fresh produce. That's right. <laughs> and, and they're usually some of the some really good ones. The Depot in Springfield oh, is nice. a good one. And they're really hometown type restaurants and they're excited about this program as well. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure they're looking for the freshest produce that they can get and you're providing that for them. Now straight tell us. Straight from the farm. Yeah, straight <laughs> off the farm. Tell us about the different markets that you're in. Well, the big one is the Nashville market and we're, we're, we'll be there for the big kickoff in the first weekend of May and we'll be back and we'll be there through the fall. But we also do some other local markets, too, in some small town. We do Springfield, Tennessee, and Clarksville and White House. Okay, and you're not just bringing produce to market. You're bringing hogs to market We in are in the Nashville market. That's wow. going to be something new this year. And they're, they're red wattle hogs. Oh. And so if anybody that's not familiar with that, it, it's a totally different way the fat is, is in the hog. And so a lot of it's marbleized, like in the pork chops, similar to how a ribeye steak would be. And, a lot better flavor. We've we've eaten some of both side by side, and it's a, it's a big difference in taste. It's really good, and it, you don't have that as much fat around the edge. Ah, well, hey, I would definitely try that. Tell us about where you see this going in the future. Do you have any plans on planting more, for example, for Pick Tennessee? Well, we are. Every year, we kind of grow this a little bit more and a little bit more, and we've we started getting more in the berries. Oh. So we've got strawberries that'll be in in about a week, and blueberries and blackberries, and that's kind of been a something that we've really added and, and added more of, and, and talking about maybe some fruit trees in the future. Well, you must have a vast knowledge of how all these different crops grow because you have such a diverse operation. Now tell us, you're also a gap farm. What does that mean? Well, with being that, we practice good, it stands for good agriculture practices and good handling practices. And so we stray away from anything that might contaminate or have bacteria or, and those type things. It's just to make a safer product to make available to everybody. Okay, and you know, farming is in your blood. Tell us a little bit about your history. I think a lot of people out there can relate. Well, it's a generation thing. We've not always lived right where we live, but my family has always farmed. My husband and our son, he was at the field when he was really young. That's all he's ever done. And my husband was the same way, and that goes back for several generations. So that's all they know. Do you think they you, love it. Your son is going to stay on the farm operation? Absolutely. And beautiful. Absolutely. Beautiful to hear that. And hope grandchildren, too. Oh, we do. <laughs> Thank you so much, Demetria. We really appreciate you coming on the show, and we're going to be following what's going on with White's Family Farm well, in the future you. as well. Stay with us. Much more to come right here on RFD-TV as we continue on into our next half hour. We'll be right back.